For obvious reasons of security, news and pictures of naval losses have not always been released at the time. A case in point is the sinking of a famous British battleship in 1941. But before we see the film of that particular tragedy, let all of us pay tribute once again to the unceasing work and the audacious spirit of the Navy throughout the war. From the outbreak of war until VE Day, the Royal Navy's losses totaled 776 ships. That's a grim figure, but the lives lost in maintaining Allied naval supremacy is what we must never forget. The secrecy covering naval operations may have had the effect of partially obscuring the gallantry of the supreme sacrifice made by so many. That's the chief reason for looking back now to 1941, when the situation in the Mediterranean was grim indeed. At the outbreak of war, the Navy, though far from big enough, was in the highest degree efficient. On only one occasion, for instance, has a German submarine succeeded in penetrating an anti-U-boat destroyer screen and sinking a battleship. The one exception to that great record was the sinking of HMS Barham, 200 miles west-northwest of Alexandria, at 4.25 p.m. on the 25th of November, 1941. The U-331 had contrived to get within close range and had fired a concentrated salvo of torpedoes at the battleship. All had struck on the port side between the funnel and the after turrets. No ship of Barham's age, she was 25 years old, could withstand such a blow. Listing heavily, she was on her beam ends within four minutes. Then her after magazine blew up. The exact cause of the explosion has never been determined and probably never will be. But the Barham sank immediately with the loss of 859 officers and men. In the sinking of this 31,000 ton battleship, we have seen a stark picture of the war at sea. The hundreds of men who died then gave their lives for our freedom. And no one should forget for a moment, merely because it's on the other side of the world, that the Navy is still fighting. For the Navy, the war in the Pacific is an extension of the war in Europe. Conditions, tactics, strategy and hazards may vary, but the war goes on. For us in Britain, VE Day and then the election have intervened, but in the Pacific, the men of the Navy, with their comrades of all services, continue to fight as ruthless and cruel an enemy as any they ever fought on this side of the globe.